the track. And then, yeah, DJ Lethal goes off with Limp Bizkit and blah, blah, blah. I don't know where they got so closely associated with Boston, though. I think House of Pain did. Maybe because they were white and Irish. I think. And fighting all the time. Because they're, they're from Long Island, I think, or Brooklyn or something. And I think there. in one of their music videos, they wore like a Celtics jersey. Is that what it was? Yeah, I think in Jump Around, <laughs> they wore a Celtics jersey. So. Stolen Valor, Bill. Hmm? Yeah. Um, a lot of girls are talking about Granny Chic. I just thought this was old school boho, but I guess girls dressing like grandmothers is a thing now. Ugh. Uh, not into it? No. Well, not into, uh, you don't want to see some granny chic pop up over spring break? No, I didn't even know this was a thing, but I'm upset about it. So, just to recap. Yes. Didn't know it was a thing until I just mentioned it probably 35 seconds ago. You're already upset about it? Yes. Okay. I don't like it when girls... Well, whatever. Dr wear whatever you want. It's described <laughs> as... A fashion trend for millennial girls to dress like old people. Now, a few, every few years, this goes through something else. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jerry Seinfeld look was norm core for a while. Remember norm core? I do. Fashion trends move so quickly uh, that the names change, but the styles don't change that much. I even remember seeing this around like 2012 or so, where girls would dress like hipster girls were dressing basically. Like their moms or like their yes. grandmas. So Why? Like they had like they had a lot of cats at home. I'm yeah. just like B twenty three. This that is means the hottest time of your life, dude. What are you doing? Not every girl's hot. Yeah, you are. No. Objectively. No. You're hotter at twenty three than you are at fifty five. Most well, that's 99. a huge range. But that's when, what I'm saying. 23 when you, to 55. When you're going to start dressing like a granny, let it be in your granny yeah, years. Yeah, but then when you're 55, you're going to Forever 21 and dressing like you're 23. Oh, there, you so there you go. There you go. It all comes around. Be your age. I say that and I mean it, but then I also want to be like, okay, wear whatever you want if it makes you happy. But I don't like this kind of stuff. Yeah, you should wear whatever you want. And these girls want to dress like grandmothers. Don't yeah, I would never shame it. anybody for wearing what they want to wear. It's not my style. <laughs> Bill. I can't even get through the sentence. <laughs> uh, I couldn't do it with a straight face. Said, no, it's, it's terrible. I hate it. I, I'm, I'm with Mary on this one. It's terrible. You told me I looked like meth when I had on bell bottoms, okay? You, I, you looked like I did meth, not that I had on meth. You look like meth. You look like you do meth. Yeah, and that's a weird take on bell bottoms. Is that you bottoms. look like a tweaker? Or, uh, flares, flares, whatever. Flares, but like because yeah, but that's the only people that I would see wearing them in this day and age is people that haven't bought pants or have to get their pants. Uh, to fit around their ankle monitor. <laughs> well, if, I was going to say, if you're on meth, seriously, you're not wearing pants in the first place. Any garment below your waist is a step up. Yeah, I don't like Granny Chic. There's a TLC show called Love, Lust, or Run. And they had a girl on there named... Do you watch this, Punky? I don't. I Love, don't Lust, or Run. What's it about? I assume the title is self-explanatory. Uh, features a woman named Sarah, who described her style as Granny Chic. Floral print dresses... Knitted scarves. Yeah, you look like you smell like cats. Or mothballs. Probably. Mm -hmm. A pew. Glasses with neck chains. That whole thing. It's an affectation. It's definitely a look. And I agree. Uh, I would Bush not... down to the middle of your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know about that. I just don't want to my name is Sarah. I am 27 years old, and I live in Ridgewood, Queens. I love my look. It's Granny Chic meets Acid Princess Raver Goth Child. Okay, what right. The so hell? she. Okay, All right. So I don't she's, trust her. Yeah. yeah. How they pulled Granny Chic out of the uh, Acid Raver Love Child string of adjectives. She just. But again, you know, new uh, new clothing styles come from people who were like, oh, this is this times Granny this minus chic. this. From the 60s. I would say most of my clothes, except for my shoes, are from thrift stores. I'm, I'm very thrifty. I'm very and thrifty. That's really bad for your arches, though. You shouldn't wear you shoes. Wait, what? Wearing used shoes is not a good idea. How is it different wearing shoes that you've used and wearing other people's used because shoes? Because other people's feet are not your feet. So what? So every foot's different. So if a shoe is broken into somebody else's foot, then it takes that shape more and it can cause damage to your foot. So you, I guess, that makes Science. sense. That sounded like a Mary Santora line. Other people's feet are not your feet. <laughs> <laughs> it was. All right. It's not like a Maryism. I do not like this Granny Chic. I'm on Instagram, hashtag Granny Chic, and I am, I'm sorry, but you look like you're wearing drapes. 
Yeah, if you go to their house, there'd be no window dressings or couch covers. Or Otherwise, anything. really well, that's cute a perfect, girls. That's a perfect look for when you have to stay inside your own house. <laughs> Wear your drapes. Yeah. Drape your drapes. Right. Yeah, granny chic decor. Like, I just Googled it, and it's just like a bunch of old, super old it's drapes like and rugs. yeah. I don't even think, like... Erica has really good taste. I want to know what she knows about Granny Chic. Has she seen this on Instagram? It's like when you look at the picture, you can smell it. Right, that's exactly. what I'm saying. So it's when, not cats, though. It's like must. So mm-hmm. when you ask them, yes, you must dress like that <laughs> if you want to be into Granny Chic. When you ask them, does the carpet match the drapes? They say, absolutely not. I'm wearing the drapes. <laughs> does the couch have plastic on it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. That's what I want to know. And I, 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 this is something when it comes to fashion and whatever, I really truly do. If you're happy and you want to wear it, good for you. Right, but you're not but a this true is not something. You do. No, but no, not at all. But this is not something that I would ever do for myself. And if I saw like my sister, I'd be like, dude, really? I would question my friend. I'd say, this is what you want to wear? And well, when they said yes, I'd leave it alone. Well, a lot of times, too, it's a, uh, some people come to a style that they know will get them attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it depends yes, on what in that, lieu if you of want a personality, people, granny chic. Yeah. There you go. Hummingbirds on your shirt. I don't know. What's the matter with hummingbirds? They fly backwards. <sighs> they don't fly backwards. Their wings go backwards. Yeah, that's why they fly backwards. They fly wings forward. Go ba- you know every bird's wings go backwards, right? Listen, Alan, I'm not <laughs> debating drones with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know birds aren't real, but if they were... <laughs> I love the men dressing in granny chic. What? Mark I, I believe that's grandpa chic. Nope, it's still granny chic. So granny chic? Yep. Well, something to think about, you know? They say clothes make the man. Men make clothes? Clothes make the man. Hmm. And I mean, you can you dress, dress like this to, for a little here's bit? Here's what I have to say. Can you dress like that for a little I will, bit? I absolutely will not. Here's what I think. is because I think girls go through these phases and they're going to look back at themselves in five years and be like, what the hell was I doing? Yeah, but that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, anybody, like grown people, they're like, oh my God, look, we were wearing bell bottoms in the 70s. That's so crazy. When I look at pictures when I was a kid, what my parents were wearing mm-hmm. in the 70s, like I, I was wearing like, you know checkered gar animals i mean you know i was a little kid yeah i wasn't choosing those yeah it's a little different but still i mean some people they look back and they go oh i kind of like that look maybe Mm -hmm. i would look cool like that i think you should have a whole bunch of different kind of iterations of yourself i was looking in my closet because i'm getting ready to like move the stuff and i'm like i have a couple like okay i'll wear this shirt with the leather jacket and chucks and that's a look or i'll wear my tims and this type of graphic tee and that's a look and then i also have really nice heels that i'll wear with dresses and i think yeah having a closet full of different looks is good so i guess i'm talking in circles here i i hate the way it looks but do whatever you want yeah it's not for you it's definitely not for me not for you you're more into whatever this is St. Patty's uh, Day. St. Patrick's Day? Pride? Civic Pride? You look like Athena, goddess of the hunt. I dressed up as a Snapchat filter. Yeah, all right. <laughs> right? That's what that is? <laughs> okay, Snapchat I filter. I found this in my closet. I wore it last year, too. I, uh, speaking of uh, <laughs> how, how people look, I thought it was funny. There was a story about how TikTok got caught. Oh, God, what was the TikTok story? That the, the moderators on TikTok, and it's largely the domain of children, but nevertheless, there are some adults who are on it. Uh, they, found, they found out that moderators from TikTok tried to filter out videos from ugly, poor, or disabled users. Oh, wow. And if you've ever been on TikTok, these people did not do a very good job. <laughs> they work cut out for them. <laughs> right. At all. Yeah. Moderators were told to suppress videos from users who appeared too ugly, poor, or disabled as part of the company's efforts to curate an aspirational air in the video it promotes. And this is the thing with all social media. It's no accident that you're seeing beautiful lives that people are having, right? Right. Because nobody wants to go on an app and see regular people doing stuff. Not anymore. Maybe for a while when it was a new novel thing, and they're like, oh my god, I can film myself and put it on the computer box. (laughs) They were like, yeah, cool. Yeah, on the interwebs. But now they're like, no, no, no. These are allegedly million-dollar companies. They don't make any money, but whatever, right? Aspirational. So we want people to see, we don't want people seeing ugly, poor, or disabled people on there. Uh, They found, these were documents that were uncovered. That they um, excluded videos if they failed on any one of a number of categories, including users with an abnormal body shape, (laughs) not (laughs) not limited to (laughs) dwarves, people who are chubby, obese, or too thin, People who have, I love this, ugly facial looks. 
<laughs> hey, you should have a variety of looks in your closet. <laughs> ugly facial should be one of them. Looks. I think ugly would have sufficed. Ugly facial looks ugly facial looks. or facial deformities should be removed. The character's appearance is not good. The video will be much less attractive. Not worth recommending to new users. Because so these apps are always take, trying to get new people, you know. They're not going to take their video down. They're just not going to put it on, like, a Discover page. And they're not going to be like, hey, hey, look at what's out there. Kind well, of the TikTok people said, well, this was to prevent bullying. We didn't want people that would have been bullied. Except even if you're hot, those people get bullied. Mm -hmm. Just because you're hot doesn't mean you don't get bullied. Those people get crapped on all the time. People don't think it's a big deal because they go, well, their life's probably great because they're good looking. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that is an advantage <laughs> in most things. But good looking people get bullied all the time on social media. Mm -hmm. You suck, go kill yourself, yeah, whatever. You're too hot. I can't yeah. stand the way you look. Right. I'm so hot. I, I really it can't. makes me crazy how hot you are. <laughs> I really can't stand hot, rich people. Those are the worst. Because it's one thing to be hot and poor because I'm like, okay, of course, you're using you know, what you got to you know, your advantage. But when you're hot and rich, I'm like, God damn it, what can't you do? <laughs> Makes You're me obsessed angry. with hot rich people, right? Yes. But, but most people who are hot and rich didn't have anything to do with either. Yeah. you have angry. you have we nothing. That way, yeah. If you were hot, you won the lottery. If you're rich, you won the lottery. Right. That's what I'm saying. You you, you don't know anything different. Unless so they you, make me mad. They need to get bullied. But you also didn't do anything to get <laughs> it. <laughs> Unless you actually won the lottery, then you're probably not hot. Those people generally aren't good looking. It's very <laughs> rare that attractive people win the lottery. That's true. Yeah. You've, have you seen the people who win the Mega Millions? I don't watch that, no. What, oh, you wa watch uh, Lottery, what is it, Lottery Changed My Life or something like that? No. It's a, and they're all just... Look at Mama June. Like right? After she got her money, she was like, new teeth, new boobs, tummy tuck, and now she's all back on the meth. There are people who look like their name is already on the list of coronavirus <laughs> victims. Coronavirus? Coronavirus. Mm -hmm. yeah, coronavirus sure. victims. <laughs> hey, uh, Danny. Hey, Alan. What's going on? Uh, now, now I was just talking with Cody, like, and God, he's got me riled up already. I was like, uh, I basically said that there's really no other than like, all right, he said balding, but there's basically no difference between you at 23 and you at like 30 aging wise. But that's like, wrong. People say like, no, like people say like, oh, you're 23 years old. This is the hottest time of your life. Like. You really don't, like, other than maturity, when you look at someone, you're like, oh, maturity, so we associate that with, with that with age. We think they're, like, older. But if you ask me, like, age, like, between 20 and 30, you can't pick out, like, if you can't pick out their age. Yes, you yes, absolutely you can. can. You're wrong. I, I don't think so. If Go you, to Mary I Santora's totally story. Yeah. <laughs> look at her when she yeah, from look at six me when years I was ago. 23 yeah. and when I was 30. All my friends are, like, bald. They have stretch marks, like... That's butt different. sagging, that boob sagging. Totally losing, losing your like the way you look and not staying in shape is not aging. They let themselves go. Yes, it is. Gravity takes its toll. No, you. But plenty of there are plenty of people. I, I see them all the time. Plenty of people are like fifty five and they're in amazing shape because they take exactly. care of themselves. It's a biological. It's a biological age is different than chronological age. Right. I don't know. Crow's feet are real. No, you go get a workup it's done. A you were, scientific thing. You it's were making fun. Thing. Mary was making fun of me yesterday because I said I get a checkup every year, right? And they do a thing and they tell you, here's your biological age and here's what your physio, whatever it is. You know what I mean? There's chronological. A difference between, chronolo yeah, yeah, thank you. Here's your chronological age. Right, here's like your biological age. in chronological age. order. Yeah. <laughs> like, here's, you know, here's how old you are. Here's how old your body is. Or here's the equivalent of whatever. Like, I'll be 49 this summer, right? My biological age, last time I got blood work and, you know, a checkup and all that, was like 36 years old. Killing it. Well, whatever that means. It could be all made up. I, yeah, I'm I just never saying believe that no, because I've never up. had it. It's, it's like it's organ function. It's okay, function, well, then at the it's same... Liver function. It's how you're... If you're drinking yourself into cirrhosis... And your age, your liver is functioning at the age of like 60, 70 years old. At the age of 20, you're going to look like crap. Listen, I, I love her, but Drunk Sue is going to be 56 years old Honey, tomorrow. That's hard that makes her seven years older than me. Mm -hmm. There are photos somewhere on my Instagram of me and Drunk Sue at an appearance. It looks like more than seven years between the two of us because her blood is 70% for loco. Yeah. <laughs> But, How old like, are you, Danny? Yeah, but she's young at heart. I'm, I am. I'm 26. So are you? Also, saying, so wait, you're coming at? Are you coming at? Because I'm curious. Are you worked up? Because you're coming at this from the perspective of 
an ugly dude or a guy who well, she's a woman? Well, yes. You're a woman. I'm, yeah, I I know the voice. Yes, the voice is not. Oh, I went to high school uh, with Danny. Well, my screen said D A N I, but I figured that was just pound cake screwing up somebody's name. No. <laughs> wow. All right. I'm sorry. No, yeah, I've called in here before. It's the voice I know. But um like yes, I'm I'm trans female. But yes, I've had about thirty thousand dollars worth of plastic surgery. Okay, too, well, so. okay. Well that makes it lead with that then. Okay. Um so are you hotter or less hot? Oh, uh, Cody's seen a picture of me. That does nothing oh, for me. Yeah. I don't know what I'm not talking to pound cake, I'm talking to you. Are you are you hotter now than you were before? I mean, that's a subjective question. And according to you, because I'm asking you, how are you aging? I was a dude before. Do you feel? Do you feel right? Do you feel better now? Well, of course. No, I I ask this because I imagine there have there have to be a contingent of trans people who end up disappointed. They go, look, I'm finally, I'm finally in the body that I wanted. It just doesn't exactly. Look. I'm serious. It doesn't marinate. <laughs> well, it doesn't. Like, I'm happy. I'm happy. Me- I'm happier mentally than I am physically. Like, mentally, this is the body I'm meant to be in. It's not quite what I had envisioned. There has to be a contingent well, of the yeah, trans community who feels of, that I way. Mean, if there, if you're like seven foot tall and like no i don't mean that that, that's th- those are extraneous circumstances irrespective of gender i mean if you're seven feet tall you got problems that have nothing to do whether or not whether you're a man or a woman or whatever. enlarged heart are you a seven doorways. foot tall trans person no i'm five nine five nine beautiful all right so but you're happy with everything well, yeah, I do okay. trans modeling, so I do modeling. Well, there you go. See, Danny's got it all figured out. Okay, listen. But it's it's I, not. It's like it's still like you know. It's still you know difficult, like subjective. Like even though people tell me I look good, and you would never know that I was not female other than my voice. If you hear my voice, yes, but you wouldn't know that I'm not female. But it's so you know that's still not always enough for me. Mm-hmm. This is I the other suggest- thing too, and I, I, I absolutely do not want to be insulting, but I do need trans people to stop telling me that I would never guess that they were trans, because nine times out of ten I will nail it. So it's like I get where you're coming from. Um, but I'd also say don't use an- such an androgynous name. Why? Well, Danny. well, like it's that's a that's a that's a that's a legal name thing. Oh, because it was Daniel. It was Daniel. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, but so did you, I haven't but, changed my name because of the coronavirus. I'm not going to like a, <laughs> God, another yeah, victim. I'm not going to a town hall thing or a subpoena <laughs> court. <laughs> right. Coronavirus. All right. We could go by Danielle. I I would, to. I'm going to change my name completely. Yeah, I was going to say it? change it to something else. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to tell us what it's going to be? No, I would rather keep that one for me. That's fine. Okay, I that's just fine. figured maybe if you were feeling it. You... Okay, listen. Thank you, Danny. But, um, I'll tell you one thing, though. Yeah. One last thing, though. Like, Coronavirus! Like, are you probably, you like, Cody's uh, seen me before, so he's. I'm sure he's probably has pictures of me, so I don't think you could probably guess. Okay, well, I'll have him find a picture of you. Well, except now it. that I know, so my perception is going to be clouded, but... Um, uh, I'll, I'll take you know like I'll, me now. It, it's, Especially it's, not me now after like It's not gonna keep like, either of us up tonight, so I'll take your word for it, Danny. Enjoy. All right, thanks, pal. Um all right, uh, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> lady. Thanks, lady. I don't know. What, what do you want? You know, I call some girls yeah, pal so. too. Whatever, you know? But I do need because I have met a handful of well, you'd never know. Stop yeah. telling me I would never know. You don't know what I know. You don't know how my eyes work or how my perceptions work or whatever, right? You don't know his intuition. I Well, yeah. you know, oh, you'd never know. Like, well, I hope I don't. That's great for you, right? Mary, any thoughts on that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I am kind of sitting like a bro. I'm just like, bro. No, you I don't know? know. I mean, I think that uh, you're objectively most of the time better looking in better shape in your 20s than you are later in life. Not true for me. I said, well, and, I mean, and I'm actually proof of the opposite where I kind of but that's different that's alcoholism and other issues yes, going on right. but I'm saying a normal healthy person if you look at them at 25 and you look at them at 35 they're usually better shape better looking younger 
more vibrant when they're 25 than when they're 35. In 10 years? And, you and think there's that much but, degradation in a decade? And you're decade? specifically talking about really? girls that are cute girls that are I'm, then dressing I, yes. like they're a grandma. I'm talking about the girls who, what started yeah. this, who are usually like trendy, cute girls with <laughs> the glasses and the cute hair and mm-hmm. the, they want to do this. And I'm like, what are you doing? With tight butts and perky boobs, right? Okay. Is that what you're All right, about? Pornhub okay. Premium. I was trying to keep it Nice right. clean butthole. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's nice, tight, bod, perky boob girls dressing like their grandmother. No, there Those are. are the ones I take Billie? issues with. That's the one she's getting Those are the ones I about. take issue with. Well, then let them do it. They're they're Billy Eilishing it. I guess they don't want to be. Uh, they don't want to be objectified. They want to cover themselves under a moo moo. They want to look like a walking Davenport. And you know what? I should be the last person to speak on body image only because my perception is so skewed. Coming from cheerleading, it messed me the hell up from the time I was a little kid. My body image was screwed, and then I got fat and drunk. You're a large and large. Then, right. And then, and then <laughs> well, because I would be like 117 and the biggest large girl on the Marge. squad. Seriously, don't mess with you. I'm rude. Don't. Just, no, that's don't 100% me. accurate. But then I did get fat, and I did get drunk, and then now I'm not anymore, and it's one of those things where it's like my body image issues are out the wall. So if you're happy and you're granny, clap your hands. And you know what? Clap your know. hands. That's right. Okay. You want to get a text in? 351. What? If you're granny and you know it, knit a sweater. 35192. Shoot me a text. You can go to allencockshow.com for everything else. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our.